Welcome back to the Crow Man Show. I'm Crow Man, Mr. Gold. Uh, let's just get right into it. So we're going. We, we got this place called a uh, Chaz or Chop, and I know that it's been pretty much shut down now over the weekend. They 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 just said they're done with it. There's just been um. There's been like. From what we've heard, it's like a war zone. There's gunshots, people screaming every night. You don't very, know very much about this, do you? No, this is something you hear very little about. Yeah, um, so I mean, the mayor was calling it the Summer of Love, and um, yeah, it hasn't been the Summer of Love. It's not even gonna last a summer. It just lasted like one week into summer or something. So. I guess the plan is that we're, we're still going to go. I'm going. I got him. And I got a couple other buddies of mine that are going to be going. We're, we're, we're going to go up to Seattle. We're going to check it out. And, um... Yeah, we're going to check out what the city's done to its <laughs> city. According to the news, it's a blender. You know, it's a shithole over there in Seattle. Or what, what Chop or Chaz, the autonomous zone, whatever it's called. The crazy land. The Arkham City of 2020. Yeah, fucking the jungle. Clown World, or Antifa Land. It's got all kinds of names now. And Chop Chaz, Antifa Land, uh, fucking Kami Hellhole, I don't know. It's been nuts. But, um, I don't know what to expect to, to see. I, I, think, I guess we're just going to see what the aftermath is. We're just going to check out the aftermath. So, let me ask you something. What do you th what do you think of BLM? I feel like it's a movement that doesn't really stand for much. It's like... It's a movement that, that moves for something that that it's in its own cause, you know, like, you know, black, white on black crime happens and Black Lives Matter shows up, but then what, you know, what does Black Lives Matter do? They, they make everything worse. They tear apart the city and they, they graffiti everything, but, you know, they say Black Lives Matter, so it's okay, you know? It's okay if you say Black Lives Matter in your loop, in a store, as long as you say Black Lives Matter before you do it. Apparently, that's the way things are going now. Let me show you this. Check this out. What do you think of this? I mean, it's downright sickening to watch this. Uh, you know, you're going to get these white folk all roll, riled up here. I'm going to tell you something. They're going to come in. The, the, the white folk get riled up. You know, they're going to... <laughs> they're going to... Members of the NRA going to come into the black neighborhoods. I'm telling you. You know, the people going to get... People just tired of this. You, the, the, you know, p white people are being pushed around, kicked to the curb, having their rights denied, being called a racist, being walked on, watching their tax dollars go to fund all kind of drug sales, prostitution, illegal immigration. I mean, I mean y'all going to push these white folk till they can't take it no more. I'm telling you, you fool around here with Obama. You're going to let this long-legged Mac Daddy push these white folk. They're going to come up out of Tennessee and come up out of Oklahoma, come up out of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, come up out of Oregon and come out of Idaho and California. I'm telling y'all, you're pushing these white folk and you're pushing them. Your long-legged Mac Daddy is pushing them and pushing them and pushing them. And they're, they're going to get, listen, you're going to push people to the point where they're not going to take it no more. These white folk are not going to take it. You're taking their tax money. You're closing down their jobs. You're shutting down their banks. You're telling them what they can and cannot do. You're giving billions of dollars to Acorn. You're taking their tax money and giving it to people to buy drugs. You're killing babies and you won't stop. You're telling lies and you're demoralizing our nation. You're destroying everything that has made this nation great. White folk getting ready to rise up. They don't want to take it no more. And I'm joining them. Oh, doggone it. I am. I am. So these, have you seen some of these videos? I mean, I, I want to see, well, I, I don't really want to see 
But so we got the clip of George Floyd on the ground and the dude on his neck, and then spurs of that we see just mass amounts of destruction and damage and white people mostly. I've even seen videos of Mexicans just getting the shit kicked out of them. People getting pulled out of cars, stomped down the street. Some people killed, literally just killed. And some people that are even a part of their movement. People in their own movement are just getting fucked up. That's what it's because it's, it's like a it's like Vietnam, you know? You can't tell who's who, you know? Everyone's going nuts. Everyone's going nuts, yeah. Dude, what, do, what do you think of this this whole like? Does it feel like a white backlash though? Because mm. I don't know. I mean, because see, 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 watching that, watch all the videos I'm seeing. You just don't really see gangs of white people surrounding a black dude and stomping him in the street. Like, where is that? But they all believe, all these people are doing the beatings, believe that's happening. And that's why this is justified, that's how they're justifying this. Based on belief? I, mean, I hear it, I hear about it, I hear about it on the news. I'm hearing it here on the radio, I'm hearing it on the news, I'm hearing it this, this. Sure don't see any of it, I'm in a lack of visual confirmation. <laughs> well, someone said it, you know, someone said it. The man on the TV said it, so it must be true. The magic voice and the te and the technology God given us told me so. Yeah. When will you guys learn that technology is programming for your brains? Your phones are like little alien UFOs you carry around in your pocket. You guys don't even know. Apple UFOs. UFOs. <laughs> It's just like having a government weapon in your pocket. Yeah. Come here, baby. But I'm not going to sit here and explain my math. Your insane math. Ah! Insane in the membrane. Yeah, um, so I don't know what's left of what's left of the whole Antifa BLM chop block party. From I I really I need to I need to do a little bit more research to see what exactly is left. I'm sure there's still going to be some aftermath to take a look at when we do go up there because it's a huge mess and I don't think they're going to be able to get get it all cleaned up so fast. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw like freaking you know if we saw bullet holes and whatnot around the city around that spot because it's just been it's just been chaos. And from what I also heard was that they were going to fight back. And I did see a notification uh, earlier that said that there was people still there refusing to leave. So there might still be some people there. Hmm. Nice yawn. I could tell you're really into this. You looking forward to it? Well, I'm looking very forward to watching a city demolish itself. One that I'm four into, so I don't have to go home to the madness. Because it'll be far away from where we'd be at. <laughs> you think things are going to get back to normal? You think things are just going to keep getting worse? Uh, I think it's, we're just waiting for the next big thing to happen, which won't be that really big, but the news will spin into a really big proportion. Yeah. China, India, nuclear war. Well, it's definitely big. Did you hear about that? Did you hear about that? There's a conflict going on right now between China and India. I think about a week ago or two weeks ago, there was a bunch of troops they had on the border that were unarmed, but they actually ended up beating the shit out of each other. Uh, they don't know how many Chinese were actually killed, but they say I think it was like 20 Indians died. And they think that the number of in Chinese that died was higher, maybe even double. So China, obviously, I mean, they're communists. They're never honest about anything. They're not putting the number of how many people died on their on their side. But yeah, they were like beating each other with clubs and shit and some of them were using like bats wrapped in barbed wire and nails and some people fell off cliffs and drowned in the river. Yeah. yeah. Um But yeah, I mean honestly I mean from my opinion, China has been nothing but just a dipshit and totally dishonorable. Um, you know, I'm I love you if you're Chinese. Love you, Louisa. Hong Kong has fallen. 
Ouch. What are you doing? She's like really clawing into me the more you do that. Um, yeah, so uh, um, Hong Kong is no longer autonomous either. Hong Kong's gone, so people in Hong Kong now can be exported into mainland China. And honestly, I, I, I'm not afraid to say it. Fuck China right now. Fuck China. Fuck the Chinese virus, the Kung flu. And fuck what they did to the Indian on the Indian borders. And like, I have friends in India that aren't very political. They're very passive when it comes to, to politics. You know, and even like when things were happening here in 2016, 2017, 2018, they saw like how the protests started getting violent and bloody and whatnot. They're just like, you know, I don't know, I'm not so sure if I even want to come back to America right now. And it's just like, you know, this, and for me, it's like, this doesn't really seem like something you, you want. Like you're not really willing to fight, you know, for this. But you know, a lot of them aren't really fighters, so I don't really blame them. But now, seeing their response now, now that a conflict has come straight to their border, what do they think? And I, I got a message today, my friend saying, I am so mad boycotting all Chinese goods, all Chinese apps off my phone right now. And I'm just like, wow. You know, it's, it's, yeah, I don't want to see you emotional, but honestly, it's, it actually feels good to see her mad. I've never seen her mad. And she even just outright admitted on, on the message. I can even see right, right now what she said. I said, that's what I said to her. Uh, I said, I heard about the conflict on the border in the north. How do you feel about that? China has proven itself completely dishonorable, a polar opposite of India. And I'm, I am confident the United States will back India in this conflict no matter what. Stay safe. And she said, yeah, it makes me so angry boycotting all Chinese items and apps right now. China has gone crazy. Good for you. I, I say good for you and good for anyone else out there who's India, who's Indian and wants to stand up to this. My my fellow West Indians, my gold Indians. Ah, oh, baby. Oh, excuse me, I'm West Indian, Red Indian. East Indians. <laughs> my, still my fellow Indians. Native Americans. <laughs> somehow winded up in Asia. <laughs> Native Amer Red Indians conquered India. Yes. It's not the only India. <laughs> but still, gold Indian I call him. I'm red Indian. She's gold Indian. I'm West Indian. She's East Indian. Is there a North and South? I don't know. Is there a Northwest? North Indian, is there South a, Indian. A, a North there South. is North Indian, South Indian. Yes, if you're in nor Northern, Northern Red Indian and Southern Red Indian. But that's, that's all. Anyways, back to the topic. So. Mark and Patricia. It's a... That's on the list. Yeah, Mark and Patricia. So there's these... Do you guys see the pictures of these two couple right here that are, like, defending their homes? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just found out about them today, like, sort of seeing posts about them today. Um, but apparently, from what, I've, from what I've heard, from what they were saying, that they've already cucked out. <laughs> Read it out loud. Make sure our friends can hear. Just in St. Louis, attorney. can't hear you. Justin, St. Louis attorneys Mark and Patricia ah. released a statement ah. through an attorney saying they support black. They support Black Lives Matter and ah. they acted lawfully on their property. The ah. couple, through their attorney, says the alligators responsible for the alligators' response. Ah. The alligators' response. Agitators. Oh, the <laughs> I don't know why I said alligators. Looks like Close enough. Agitator alligator, same thing. <laughs> the agitated, the alligators. <laughs> the agitated alligators. <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> the, the agitators responsible for the trepidation of ah! white. I don't know what this is about. They had a bunch of um, BLM protesters or Antifa. My, my guess is it was mostly Antifa because they were mostly white, showed up at these people's houses. I think from, I believe they were in a Katy community and they came up to their house and it's like a s separate kind of community or something like that. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But um, yeah, they showed up on the front lawn with guns drawn and uh, ready to defend themselves. But they came out saying with their, using their lawyer as saying that, um, Yeah, they acted lawfully on their property, 
and that they support Black Lives Matter, and that the group they confronted was all white. So, you know, uh, I'm, I'm happy that they stood up for themselves. That's what BLM really is. It's nothing but an umbrella for crime, you know? Like, you know you Black crime matters. <coughs> it's just an umbrella for crime. Glad you said it. Right? Right? He's like, yeah. Black crows matter. I don't think I need a. I think I'm gonna steal me some something from Target. Ow! Hey. You wanna wear a Black Lives just, Matter shirt just, with just, me? Just turn Black Lives Matter and come running out. Black Lives Matter. Just mm. Grab whatever you want. When you got you. When you got what you want, just go. Do the, the Amazon commercial. I just, thought that you shouldn't get out. Get your shit. Welcome to Walmart and <laughs> get your shit. Get out. Oh, that's, that's too funny. Well, um, I guess that's the show, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I don't want to make this too long. Chase is doing great. Yesterday was his third, third, three-week birthday. Oh, I call him Chase. By the way, his official name's Chase was my last crow. Um, official name for the crow is Morrigan. If, if you, uh, if you, if you're interested in Celtic mythology, Celtic uh, gods, Morrigan is a is a is a Celtic god in the depiction of a raven or crow, usually found in the in the shape of a crow. As a female god, so maybe three, actually three gods, like three gods in one, three three female gods in one. Or sometimes just depicted as one god with three names. It's not really, there's not a lot of information on the, the, the Morrigan. But um, there's, you could still, it's it's, kind of, it's a mysterious creature. It's very, very cool. The, Mor the Morrigan is a symbol um, of battle. And not the not necessarily a symbol of the, of the glory, of... Not, not necessarily a symbol of battle or war itself, but the outcome of battle. Like, who's going to die and who's going to live on in glory. That's what the Morgan is. Ah! Yeah, baby. So, this is Morgan. I did get some very good names. I, I do like a lot of the names. And one of the most common names I got, honestly, was Edgar. And I wasn't too thrilled with Edgar. I do like, like some people suggested that. But... Believe it or not, I don't actually find a big connection when I think of Edgar and Crows. Even though I know the poet Edgar Allan Poe. Ah! Hi, baby. Ah! Ah! We got ten comments. Eric. Brandon. Ah! Edgar. I got Edgar again. Edgar Allan. Edgar, Allen, Poe, Memphis. Vanessa wanted Memphis. Someone said ah. Ivy or Ivory, which is funny because my first crow, my first crow's name was Ivan. Oh, baby. Ah. Someone showed, said Sticks. <laughs> Corvus, Black Corona. Another crow that I wanted, to, uh, another another name I was thinking about naming it was uh, Corbichan. Ah! Vincent, which wouldn't have been that bad, because my, my, my little brother's middle name is Vincent. John and Bill, all very good names. I do appreciate you guys reaching First out. Stuck in the suit, I'm just gonna fall over. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys, to the future, to, to CHOP, to the aftermath of CHOP, and, um, and to more great video videos. And thank you. Stay tuned for the next special episode of Crowman 17. Subscribe to The Jive. Make America great again. Make Gonzo Journalism great, great again. Guess others you need those. Take around the other race. Yada, yada, yada. What was that thing you said earlier? Kung power. Kung power.